Steve, we're going to send you to a worldwide tapings down there if you don't get your act together. And his opponent, to my left, from Edgewood, Maryland, weighing 380 pounds, the undisputed EWA heavyweight champion, the juggernaut, Michael Anthony. Folks, I'm almost exhausted and we got another match after this, the finals of the EWA Sweet 16 tournament. Um, it, a, a lot has happened here tonight. And I honestly don't know if the Evil League Evil from the Redundancy of Redundancy Department and pure ignorance. I don't know if they're having they're having some sort of inventory, trying to check inventory on who is the scummiest and most vile stable in EWA right now. They're running neck and neck, especially after the last match. Uh, you don't you don't put your hands on an official, and especially. When you have you when your arm but brass knocks, and that was just a disgusting display by pure ignorance. And I hope uh, Commissioner Mikey D deals with them in some sort of orderly fashion in the upcoming weeks. Well, we have an EWA heavyweight title match here, and the crowd definitely behind the challenger, the Purple Parrot, Colin Sheen who was given the title shot by Commissioner Mikey D as a result of being the man who scored the winning pinfall in the Games of War match back at Rage in the Cage. This is my only saving grace tonight. You're, you're, I really want the Purple Parrot to win this championship. Your batting average is not, um, not spectacular tonight. And uh, I don't say that through any fault of your own. I mean, if I'm over here, they come out over there. If security's over here, they come out over there. And in the last match, one of them actually hit a woman. I know. Not, not to mention she's a referee, but a woman. Yeah, yeah. So I don't even, it's not even vengeance. It's this I, has to stop. I know. So I get it. You're going to have to make some major changes in between now and the great I, I was just saying, you're probably going to have to lay down some law and order uh, in the upcoming weeks leading up to the Great Maryland Bash. And the Purple Parrot, he may be an unconventional challenger, but don't ever say that he is out of the fight. Oh, going after the wheels, going after the wheels of the juggernaut, Michael Anthony. That might be his only shot. Oh, tried to go for a... a a standing DDT, but just too much man. Oh, and a spine buster to boot. Too much man to maneuver around in there. It's six foot seven, 320 pounds. He kicked out. Six foot seven, 320 pound Michael Anthony. Come on, Colin A man who has not been end or submitted in 25 months. It's over two years, folks. He's had a lot of help. I mean, yeah, he's had a lot of help, but a lot of those victories, it's been on his own accord because he is that big, he is that physical. I, I mean, it's not just here. I would give him his due if he didn't have Oh, big leg. All of this help. I get it. I mean, it's almost a, a, an embarrassment of riches as far as the uh, the ELOE is concerned. Uh, he doesn't need the help, but yet there's just this uh, this ragtag group of misfits that. Uh, oh boy. Uh, oh boy. You better pay attention. Mikey D is right, he better pay attention. I mean, Colin Sheen, Colin Sheen's, oh, out of the, never out of the fight. He's won some, he's lost some, but trust me, he is, uh, 
He, he is uh, bringing the fight to Michael Anthony, but he may not for much longer. Stalling suplex, British Bulldog style, held him up for a good 12, 13 seconds. All that blood rushing to the cranium of the purple parrot, Colin Sheen. And uh, Commissioner Mikey D is uh, shouting out words of encouragement. But those can only go so far, I think. I mean, this man isn't just unpinned and unsubmitted here. He and Hero Napier have already won the uh, Route 33 Tag Team Championships in West Virginia. And uh, Mike Clancy is, he hasn't been pinned and submitted there either. He may be, arguably, oh, blinding light. As a combination of stalling choke slam and shot to the short rib. Michael Anthony may be the most dominating EWA heavyweight champion we've had in quite some time. And you, you can look at the list of champions we've had over the years. That's saying something. Colin Sheep fighting back. But he gets waist locked, bear hugged, if you will and muscled into the corner by the juggernaut. Snakebite mocking the, uh, the cheers of this, of this crowd who is trying to get behind the purple parrot and that is really the, this is about the only support that he can, he can uh, muster in this match. So he's being systematically picked apart. I don't want to say this was, oh, a mistake, but um, I, I, don't, I don't think, I don't know if uh, Colin Sheen was ready for this. And now the, uh, the World's Strongest Slam is going to set up for that, uh, that swinging backdoor splash. Oh, my God. That's, uh, oh. And he didn't kick out, folks, because he didn't have a chance to. Because Michael Anthony is, if, if there's a failing in his game, and that is that, he is, you've, ki you've killed that kid's career. That's, that's a striking statement. And is this the, tor it's a torture rack. A torture rack put on shades of Lex Luger, and that's it. That's, that's it. That's it, and it, uh, the, the referee asking for the bell to be rung. The ref pretty much threw in the towel for Colin Sheen. I don't think he gave up. I think he just pretty much blacked out from the, uh, the pain. As Team Auto Draft and Beefcake come out in aid of their fallen friend, Colin Sheen, the Purple Parrot. I don't think it was a cakewalk, but uh, it was, um, Michael Anthony didn't have too much trouble. I'm tired of all of this Evil League of Eagles shenanigans. I'm done with it. I agree. I'm done with it. Next month, next month, May 11th, May 11th, I want an unsanctioned street fight. The Evil League of Eagles versus Team Auto Draft. That's what I want. An unsanctioned street fight. I don't care who it is. I'm done with you guys. Give me the mic. Give me the mic. the most forceful yet yeah, inside LA you know night. What? As much trouble as these people have caused tonight, all night, all night, do you people want to see a fight with no You 
I'm tired of it too. Next month, right here in the castle, all of you, all of you, unsanctioned, no holds bar. Well. If you guys aren't going to follow any rules, neither are they. <laughs> so, we would know what we wanted the whole time, and you think I gave us an advantage by not having rules? Oh no, anything but that, idiot. Well folks, this is a... Uh... This may be the only way this gets settled, or it might only exacerbate the uh, entire uh, the entire issue between Cheat hey, Team Autograph. Next month they wear you down. Next time they take your title. Mikey D once again throwing down the gauntlet. Unsanctioned street fight for the Great Maryland Bash. Folks, it's gonna be Come on. Folks, it's gonna be a barn burner.